Oh, it's definitely about to be some bloody knuckles in this video. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? We are in for a fun one today. My name is BZ Ryder. Welcome to the channel. New to the channel, please make sure that you do subscribe. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you. To start things off, this 350Z has came a long way since I've owned it. It went from bone stock to pretty much a very beautiful machine. <laughs> you know, the last few videos that I've been doing, I've been doing um, cosmetic work to the Z. Ah, it's time to get back onto the performance aspect. So in today's video, we are going to be probably having a bunch of bloody knuckles, some choice language that will be edited out. We're going to be doing one of the hardest mods that uh, at least I know of, or at least that I've been hearing about. And we are going to be putting test pipes onto this 350Z. So as you guys already know, I already do have a ISR uh, Y pipe back exhaust. Um, I don't have a Y pipe, but uh, I plan on getting one. I probably should be putting one on now, but hey, whatever. I like to make it spicy, you know, just change things up and go a little different out of order. These test pipes, it was a long wait for them because of the EPA regulations or whatever crap that's going on right now in the world, coronavirus, all that crap. This was probably the longest I ever had to wait for some car parts. I waited about a month, or I'm sorry, I waited about three months, three long months in order to get these. I ordered them from JM Auto Racing or something like that. I forget because like I said, it's been so long. I'll leave them down in the comments below. Um, they actually had a good deal on them. I'll probably get some RAS. At least these are resonated and it should make it sound better. Uh, I heard good reviews on the Burke one. So hopefully these live up to the hype, live up to the weight that I had to go through in order to get these. So that's enough of me yapping on and on about it. I'm sure you guys are ready to to see what they look like. You know how we roll on this channel. I'm gonna put this up on a tripod, give you guys a good little unboxing. We'll get started on this fun, very fun aspect of changing out these test pipes. If you don't know what demon bolts are, it's just something that everybody talks about with these. I'm kind of dreading it, but y'all wish me luck and I'm gonna take y'all along on this journey. Yeah, let's just get into this unboxing. They, they look pretty good. There's some pretty good quality on them. The wells look good. Woo! So yeah, they do have the O2 bungs on them. Boop, boop. Guessing that way, uh, I guess both O2 sensors go on there. Yeah, you know, for your O2 sensors. Duh. Pardon me, I am tired right now. Next step is to get this car up on the jack stands and we'll get the tools out. So prior to me even recording this video, I sprayed the bolts down with penetrating oil. I think it was brake free or something. I forget, I'll show you guys <laughs> once I grab the can. But I soaked everything down for like a week. Just that way any rust and all that crap that's associated with exhaust would be able to come off easier. Cause I'm not trying to go through the same thing that I went through with the ISR setup. I definitely need a two car garage as well. The single car life ain't it. Well, now that we got the car up in the air, I think I'm gonna start off by actually removing the intake tube to be able to get to driver's side bolts for this. So stay tuned. Alright guys, well I can't really get it to focus to glimpse of the demon bolt. Yeah, there's one on each side. But yeah, so basically with those bolts, you cannot get to those from the bottom of the car. You gotta get to them from up top. And I guess you gotta go through a whole bunch of extensions 
in which to be able to get to it. Here we go. Round one, fight! believe it but I actually got it just to show you guys what all he got to go through hold on let me go into the garage so in order for me to get that I have to use a deep well three inch six inch hand or something another six inch extension a three inch and then a breaker bar I had to put a pole at the end of all this for leverage it's a good thing that I soaked those bolts down because it actually made it a lot easier to break that free Two more do on the driver's side, and then that side will be done, uh, minus the bolts on the bottom. And then we also gotta get the passenger side. I'm gonna try to find that demon bolt as well. But I need a new battery for this camera first. What I did was I came underneath the car, there's this plastic skid plate. I removed that. There's the driver's side cat. I got the top bolt done from on top of the car. Now I'm gonna work on the one below it. Then there's one more on the back side. And you too can easily remove this bolt just like me. Y'all know I am lying. I've been fighting with this bolt. I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I didn't make it seem like it was easy at first. Yeah, this bolt right here was kind of difficult because the uh, steering shaft is in the way. You can't really get like a good extension on there. That was fun coming out. <laughs> it's been a little bit easier than I thought it would be, but it's still kind of a pain. If you guys are still rocking with me in this video, make sure that you drop a like down below. It helps me to give me motivation to make more videos and more content for you guys. Just something to look back on in the future. All right guys, and we are live back underneath the car. This time we are on the passenger side and I upgraded my equipment here. Luckily you can get to all these bolts down from underneath the car. Hey, if you guys want some OEM uh, 350Z cats, hit your boy up, all right? Hit me up, I'm gonna offer them for like a, the going rate, two grand. You give me two grand, you can have these cats and that's a piece. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. All right, cool, guys. We got the bull crap out. Boom. We got the new hotness here. Boom. So now all we got to do is just throw these onto the car. Get done with this. I am definitely losing daylight. I'm going to have to speed this up here. want to get this done before it gets too late because I'm getting hungry. Let's get to it. Want to help me put a car part on? Want to help me? You look tired. A few moments later. All right, guys. I know that this is going to be really difficult to see because it is dark outside. The test pipes are now installed. They are installed. And first things first, I need to get from underneath this car. Oh, God. All right, guys. So like I said, the test pipes are installed on the car. Now I just need to put the intake back on, drop the car down, and then I'll be good to go. After I do that, I can start it, but I want to get you guys clips of it when it's daylight because it is dark outside. I'm gonna put the Z back together on the ground and then I will see you guys in the morning. Day two. I've already taken the car for a test drive. It's a good thing that I did that because unfortunately my check engine light had came on and the car was misfiring. I fixed that. Uh, basically what happened was there was um, a few of the bolts that were loose so air was seeping in or out and it was just throwing off the throwing off the O2 sensors. To me I felt like it was just saying that it was lean when it was not so the 
ECU was just having the fuel injectors just dump fuel, so that's what was causing the breakup. Everything is tightened down now. Now it is running a lot better than what it originally was. Far as sound goes, it's still honestly not that loud, at least to me, in my opinion. It's not raspy at all. It flows a lot better now, which would make sense. I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a cold start. I've not started the car up today, and it's in the garage, so it's probably gonna be just a little bit loud after it's running and idling. It's good. There's no drone whatsoever, but let me shut up, throw this on the tripod so that way you guys can hear what it sounds like. So give me a sec. I will get some drive-by clips or fly-by clips here in just a sec. We just gotta talk about the install. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This was not bad as I thought it would be. But the reason why I say it was not as bad as I thought it would be is because I soaked the bolts down prior to me even working on this. Had I just went into this without soaking anything, yeah, it would've been like way more annoying than what it was. On the driver's side, I'm gonna say that that was the hardest side to get to because the steering shaft went there because I'm in America, so that's we drive on the left. Or to get to everything, I had to get to those bolts from the engine bay pretty much. When I tightened everything down, I tightened it up from the engine bay. Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys that ratchet I used one sec. This was the ratchet that I used to tighten everything up. This is half inch drive. I just have a uh, half inch to three eighths adapter because I don't really have any half inch sockets like that. The thing that's nice about this is just you can extend it. This thing came in clutch. So when it came to tightening those bolts back down for the uh, second time, that tool came in clutch because I was able to get more leverage on it. We are going to go on a difficulty scale on doing this mod. Yeah, we'll do one to 10. I'm going to put this up there as a six. I don't have a lift to do it and the placement of those bolts to get to them. They're called demon bolts for a reason. Luckily, it worked out easier for me. Anybody can do this mod, it just, might be a little bit more difficult. Definitely have help while you're doing it. I did it all by myself, but it would have been nice to have a hand on it just to have somebody help lining things up. Far as power, I definitely think I picked up at least, you know, a tenth of a horsepower, you know. Yeah, it, it's it's nicer now. So I'm gonna get ready to close this video out here, at least with me talking. I'm going to try to go in there and sweet talk my lady to recording me so that way you guys can hear some exhaust clip me driving this if you like this video please make sure that you do like it found this information useful give it a thumbs up as well subscribe to the channel if you haven't you guys help motivate me to continue on with my journey on modding that you know the, the z the bike I haven't even ridden the bike this year. I've, of course, I need to get the 300 running. Ugh, I'm sick that I don't have that running yet. And of course, somebody's cutting grass right now. I will see you all on the next one. Show some support, show some love. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.